to vote if you wanted me to play Until Dawn, just adjust the camera a little bit there. Um, and so we're now playing it, and I hope you guys enjoy it, even if you've already seen it, or if you haven't. This is, uh, I really wanted to do a new, um, walkthrough, as it were, a new series on Dad's game. So we're gonna play Until Dawn, um, and I won't stop, you know, I'll just keep playing it, because there really is nothing else to play. You may also notice that my audio is a little bit better, and that's because I've got this bad boy right here. Um, new microphone, Blue Yeti. I'm waiting for the arm to come through, so you're gonna have an arm, like, right here. So, uh, we can get a little close and personal. <laughs> so hopefully my, my audio is now a little bit better. Um, but anyway, let's begin the new series on Daz Games of Until Dawn. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. That is the theory. And if that is the case, then we should really eliminate all butterflies. I'm just saying. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Oh dear. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Oh, it's one of those games, is it? Okay. This butterfly's wing. Is odd. Your story. One of the many possibilities. That's quite clever, actually, how they've done that. I like that opening. Choose your actions carefully. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to get everyone killed. Everyone will be killed. Oh, okay. Cabin in the woods type of deal. Like it. Classic horror. Am I talking too much? Okay. Oh, no. Shh, shh. Okay, so hot girl in a cabin, standard, we like it. I like hot girls in cabins. Ah, oh, no, 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 I put my tea down. Holy shit. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Are they playing a prank on someone? On one of their friends? I'll turn subtitles on in a minute, by the way, guys. Oh shit. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. What is going on? Right now. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. What are they what are they gonna do to Hannah? And who the fuck is that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh shit, we're playing. All right. Okay, so I just turned subtitles on. All right, so we are hot girl in beanie. Let's have a look. What is this? Press R2 to uh, hold and pick up objects. Okay. All right. You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you even hotter out of it. Cut oh, all right. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Like, oh, oh my god. Who's this? Tell me people haven't died already. Okay. Alright, so where are we going now? Where are we going now? Are we going to look outside? Okay, use the right stick to look around. Objects can be inspected. Okay. Oh, a fine year! <laughs> Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave him alone. He'll throw up. Maybe. 
maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man, what a slime ball. Oh, my God. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh, my God. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all good. It's just but... a stupid prank. Uh... Hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? That was really Anna. mean. <gasps> oh shit, bitch. Use the right stick to choose. To choose what? I'll find others. Wake Josh. Fucking wake Josh! Don't go out there on your own. That's the Josh. worst thing you can do in a horror film. Josh. She went out there anyway, so what's the point? There's someone outside. What the hell? Oh, they're going after Hannah! their friend. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So after her you know I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now Mike all the correct action oh, before the timer runs out okay swear all right oh man I hate stuff like this fast safe let's go with the faster we got to find her probably the wrong choice but screw it Anna, where are you? I'm sorry they were mean. Oh man, bitch alone in the woods. Oh fuck. Follow noise, follow footprints. Well, I'd follow the footprints. Well, pro I would actually be out here. I'd be at home. With a cup of tea. <laughs> Ooh, a reindeer. Be careful. You're right, man. I don't Hannah, understand why people do where this. Are you? Oh shit! You're gonna get lost. Use the touchpad to. Okay. Oh, I can actually use the touchpad on the PlayStation. All right. Let's. Uh, yeah. We're looking for Hannah. You can direct the light beam using the right stick. Okay. Cool. Hannah, come on! Come on, uh, we're just kidding. We weren't gonna film you and put you on YouTube. <laughs> Holy shit, balls and deers! All right. Let's walk faster, that's good. I like walking faster. Okay, where are we going? Are we going this way? Hello? hello? Don't say hello. Stop it, you don't want an answer. P oh, shit. What's this? Is it a shoe? Is it a... Death totem? Oh. Wait, 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 Pick that up again. Hold on, I want, I want facts on this. What, what is it? Okay. Sidis believes that butterflies brought for each totem pieces for tells a possible event in the future. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Found on a mountain by Beth. So, what? We, we might have the ability to avoid that then? Alright. So, falling off a cliff. What? What? Man, I really do not like this. I knew it was a horror game, Hannah. though. Hannah! For Christ's sake, bitch, I'm wearing my new Yeti boots, and you are really pissing me off! Fire? What was that? That was fire. It was like a flamethrower. Oh, someone's out here with a flamethrower. Hannah! Hannah! 
Oh, bless her heart. Hannah! Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. No, you're not. You just... You just wanted the D. Hannah? Yeah, run. Yeah, that's it, run. Oh, shit! Oh, you lost your phone. So I was gonna hack your Twitter account now. Shit. Oh, alright, hold on. This might be. There's a cliff there. Oh, don't make me choose. No. Oh my god! No. It's not that far down. Hold on! Hold on! Pull her up. Pull her up! Pull her up! What the hell and what? What? Let go, drop Hannah. Oh no, I can't drop Hannah! Let go. It's not too far, we might survive. <laughs> it came through. Are they dead? Yeah, they're, they're pretty fucking dead. Shit! I just killed them both! What a bad start. What? I'm a monster! <laughs> Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Oh, it's that guy. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom. This revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Oh. <sighs> Too close. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Now he's just smiling at me. Okay, right. Huh. Okay. That's a, um, it's a scarecrow. A little bit creepy. So... How did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Mm. Makes me happy. It does make me feel a bit uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The way you're looking at me, to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure. The Scarecrow. Definitely the Scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The Scarecrow. Scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. A week? Um. Yeah, if the Scarecrow wasn't there. It's just a farm. I like farms. Ah. I live in the country. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Oh, well, that you know, I'd book a hotel. Um, I'd be gone. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of of the supernatural. Yes. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? 
simply remember this is only a game. I really need him to disappear right now. <laughs> well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. So he's my therapist through this game. This game is that scary. I need a fucking therapist. Oh dear God. Sony Computer Entertainment presents operatic noises in the snow. So, two uh, bitches have died. Um, that was my fault. I could have grabbed that weird guy's hand, but to be honest, like, why would you? Why would you grab that guy's hand? It didn't look that far down. I thought they'd just land in the snow. I didn't realize they'd die. <laughs> so that's a bad start <laughs> on this playthrough of Until Dawn. Looks good, though. I like games like this, where choices affect everything and, you know... Is this the credits? Because, like... Man, this this that it looks really cool to be honest. Graphically, it looks fantastic. Um, the voice work, um, like some of it's a little bit near like that. As long as it's believable and I can get into it, like I, I think I'm going to enjoy this game. Like I, I wanted to play it, but like I say at the time, I was playing Franbo and everyone else was playing this. Today is the one year anniversary oh. of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was charged with investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Oh, they dead. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Oh, zoom in. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know. Oh, they're going back. Um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together. You know, thinking of them, I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. I bet it's you. Um, for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. He looks okay, dodgy, doesn't so, he? Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, alright? Yes! <laughs> uh, well, she's still hurting, obviously, that she lost two of her friends. This is awesome! Glad I made tea for this. I needed popcorn as well. I need popcorn. There's a lot of games like this that um, I know they require a lot of work and they take a long time to make, but it's, it's, it's high end horror games like this that I love to play. Like, I can't wait for Outlast. I can't wait for more games like this because sometimes the the gaming channel is a little bit dry. It needs a series, 
and oh, we've arrived. Is that a bus or Memento More? Ten hours. Ten hours until dawn. I guess that's why it's called until dawn. Okay. Oh no! Already? Come on! She hasn't arrived yet! Sam, Hannah's best friend. Adventurous. Alright. Nice to meet you, Sam. You looking good, Gail! Hello? It's me. Someone there? Oh yeah, there's someone there, alright. Path the cable car station. Okay, all right, let's go uh, through the um, place that I would never walk in a million years at this time of night. I know I can move the camera. I really want the tutorials to piss off. Okay, spooky gate with a crow on it. Crows mean death. Okay, who's that? Well, okay, let's. Uh, oh, what? The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. Is there anything on the other side? Oh, it's a bill. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna climb over then. Oh Jesus! Never mind. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't lying, love. You know, he's not, not just gonna make you climb over for a laugh. Oh no, 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 no! Come on, come on, come back. Right? How how do we climb over this then? Do we climb over the wall? There we go. You see, I know what I'm doing. Quick, safe. Let's go with the safe route. We're going to be safe this time. We're not rushing. Oh my god, this is completely destroying. Okay. Oh, oh shit. God, I hate these button bits. <laughs> you press the wrong button and it messes you up. Oh, don't, don't jump though because you'll break a leg. Climb down safely. Don't stand on the wall. You're mad. You're going to ruin your vintage jacket, bitch. Oh, my God. You did not listen to me. All right. Let's uh, let's go. Let's walk quickly. Quickly. What? Why would you? Oh. Aww. Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Okay. So you've got to keep the controller still when that comes up. Don't have time to be feeding squirrels. If you're unsure what to do next, you can... R1. Okay. Head to the cabin. Okay, great! And that's got all their relationship stats as well, I guess, right? Or health bar, whatever that was. So there's a lot of characters to be uh, concerned with here. Ooh, what we got? Butterfly prophecies. Death is the black butterfly. Danger is the red. Loss is the brown. Guidance is the yellow. And fortune is the white. Okay, well, you know. Oh, shit, bitch, go away. So that might mean something in terms of gameplay. Oh, a, a death thingy again. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking totems that will turn them will reveal colored butterfly and a. No, and a okay. Okay, so we pick these up. Bird on the table. Man looking at him. Alright. Let's try... Well, I mean, nothing really happened. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. It's all up to me. Okay, we'll view our totem. I really wish that... Okay, yeah, so that uh, found near the lower cabin station, yeah, great. All right. Amazing. Go, can you please go away, tutorials? Okay, the past is beyond our control. Is that what it says? Wow, graffiti all the way up here? <laughs> that is really, really odd. I'm not, I'm not even joking. <laughs> and I've been to several strip bars this week. All right, let's go Chris? in, shall we? Chris! Open the door, Chris. You're not going to make me travel up there on my own. 
Can I have my bag stolen? Oh, what's this? Bags here. Where are you? Not in the, in the bushes bag, being a dick, you? isn't he? It's obvious. Hello. What do we have here? It's his phone. Snoop, closed bag. Oh. Well, I mean, it's ringing, so, I mean, you would check to see, like, who's ringing so you could answer it, right? Uh -huh. Butterfly appears on the screen when you have changed the narrative of the game. Okay. <laughs> ah! Chris! Chris, I'm gonna throw you off the cliff! Humorous, protective, has a crush on Ashley. Okay. Well, I'm Sam. Scared me. I I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well... Thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. I've answered my friend's phones when they're not around. It's not unnatural. He's taking it way too personally. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. No, uh, it's his penis, isn't right it? Right around here. I'm going to blow your mind. Yep, it's his penis. So, Chris, um, why have we come back here? Oh, hello. What's this? Uh, no, Chris, wait for me. There's a no. Wanted. Oh, Your grand Victor. Okay, I found a clue. Okay, wanted poster. Inspect. A torn up wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Well, alright, so that's something to, to keep in mind, right? He could still be out here. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. Great. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah. It's a piece Come of wood. On, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Here goes. I'm right, gonna shoot some shit. I can do this, right? Am I right? Okay, all right, so we're moving, we're moving. We're... All right, we gotta shoot that one. Okay. Pretty good shot. Yeah, nailing it. You know. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Nah, I'm I'm really good. Boom! Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Shoot the squirrel! No, don't shoot the squirrel. You mean fuck? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. If I got a choice, I'm not killing the squirrel. Fuck you. That squirrel's lovely. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> That's so hey, bad. Hey, sharpshooter. Ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris. The cable car. All right. So, oh, we're playing as him now. And um, we're not playing as Sam. So, let's, uh, I think they said the car pulled up or something. Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes back. So it's been one yeah, that's year. Weird. Doors locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that. What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. So people actually come all the way up here just to sleep here. Oh, real gentlemen. All right. Uh, we're not going to make out because I have a crush on someone else. So uh, let's. Should we go in here? Let's have a look in here. Oh, what's this? I got a light. Blackwood Pine Hotel. Okay, is that where we're staying? How long is this going to take? What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. 
Okay. I looked at that for a very long time. Uh, oh, cameras. Oh, that's the outside camera, okay. I don't see anything. I was expecting something to flash up then or something. Or see someone outside that wasn't her. Oh, the cable car's here. Time to go. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Catch some Z's, bruh. Is this the only way up there? I definitely would not go here for all the second one. <laughs> I've seen too many films. I've seen way too many horror films to like take a trip like this. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, you know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> I like Sam. You know She's what? cool. Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and <laughs> that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Butterfly effect. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Exactly. Or bra effect. Bra strap effect, we will call it. I personally am responsible for the many broken brass back in high school. <laughs> I don't do it now. It's, it's, I, it's kind of inappropriate if I did it now. Oh, who's this? A new character? Jess! Mike's new girlfriend. Trusting. Okay, well, I'm going to get you to do all sorts of shit. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh my god, so she's like near to the grave and she's like got totally awesome hair. And there's James, Levi's. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? No! Please? <laughs> Until dawn. I stroked that button. Oh my god. Oh I my god! We were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Insist, explain. I'm with Mike now. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Oh, she just so she just swoops in there and stole him. Alright, alright. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. Oh, she's waiting for a bay. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Yeah, just stand around, 
Take it all in. Built the lodge like right where the cable car ends. Emily, Mike's ex. Oh shit. Are they going to be in the same cabin together? Mike is pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. I'm going to have to remember all this. And where's the bellboy when you need one? All right, I got your bags, bae. Why'd you carry all this shit all the time? We're only going to a cabin. I'm chilled. We're almost there. No, I'm mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? No, fuck this. I'm taking this back. You don't need these shoes. No, I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. No, you know what? Fuck it. You don't need these shoes. I've only got one pair myself. No, you know what? I'm going to be a good boyfriend, and I'm going to take it with me. <laughs> all right, I'm coming. What do you think? Ah! Ah! You fucking forgot to do boobles! <laughs> Mike, you're dead first if I get the choice. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Well, all right. Woods, I'm still going to punch you. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Right, and welcome. We're all friends here. Let's be nice. Michael, I'm just going to lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's going to suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. So she used to be with him, right? You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> uh, no, seriously. I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. <laughs> it is super awkward, though, right? He's quite a cool oh, character. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right. All right. Does she want to go and talk to him? She does, doesn't she? It's so important. I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. No, Just we're even. Careful. See you up Bitch. there, Katie. Thank you. Oh man, you, you, oh, I shouldn't have let her go. You can tell she's just going back there for Matt. Poor guy, he's got to carry all her shit. Now what? Who's this? Is that oh. Sam? Oh, it's Ashley. Ashley has a crush on Chris. So many characters. I didn't think there'd be this many characters in this game. Okay. Oh, hold on. Who's that? Okay, great. Whoa, uh -huh. hello. <gasps> Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. But you're with that guy now. He's carrying your bags. I knew you went back to do stuff. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Why? Oh. Hey, whoa. Such Sorry. a dick. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. Oh, I hope she cheats on you now, you son of a bitch. Like, for real. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I understand. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... let me check it out. Encourage. No, no, you can't. You can't see. You can't see. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Oh no! I chose oh. the wrong one. Oh, son of a bitch! I chose the wrong one. What the hell, man? Hey, listen. It's probably nothing. Nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. 
Oh, he, oh, he's gonna kick his ass. He's gonna kick his ass. What have I done? Why did I do that? I chose the wrong one. I didn't mean to press that way. What's he gonna do to him now? Okay, um, check phone. Let's check our phone. Shall we? Ah! Oh, you Fuck! You not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice oh, do I... Oh, he was just flirting with his ex. ...rebel girl have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab a snowball. Grab a snowball. Nail his ass! I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, shit, shit! Nail him! Oh! Yeah! You deserve that. I put a stone in it. You know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Don't call me little chickadee. Go on, let's do it again. Oh! Oh! Ah. Yes, I roll at snowball hey. fights. Up! Oh, oh, Matrix! I'm not killing the bird. Uh, hello? Come on. <laughs> hey, mate. Ah! Boom, shakalaka. Oh, you got me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Having so much fun before we all die. You can't hide from me, Michael. Sometimes doing oh, nothing is the right friends. thing to do. I'm not killing the bird. I don't know what you want me to do. Right in his face. Whoa! Oh. Right. Point just. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. No oh, more. Oh, you're going down. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh. The old pinner in the snow trick. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Kiss him. Let's grab a snowball. He deserves it. Ah! Yeah! Yeah, that's right. That's all you're getting, bitch. Oh, ho, ho. You bastard, oh, I saw you. I didn't oh, see you. You're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well... Oh, dear. I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait until later. Ha! You, you ain't getting any of this booty! Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. I was sleeping with him! He's a jerk. We know what's going on, you see. We know that he was just out there caressing his ex! Men, am I right, ladies? Am I right? <laughs> oh, now we're back with him. Alright, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, no cliffhangers or anything like this episode. Might, might do some cliffhangers. Never know. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the first time I'm playing this, obviously, and uh, if you're, this is the first time you're playing it. Uh, it looks amazing, right? It looks cool. And if you've already seen it, um, I will ask, like, don't put spoilers down in the comments, like, because I haven't played it and I want to know what happens in my own time. And there's a lot of other people that haven't seen this yet and would like to watch it. But either way, if you've seen it, if you haven't, I hope that you enjoy it. My dogs are barking. That probably means someone's at the door, so I should go. <laughs> like, love, cross my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.